All right, we're going to do a quick tutorial here on how to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. When you're working in PowerPoint 2007, you don't have as much control to customize the ribbon here. So if you wanted to add things to the ribbon, you really can't do that. Now that'll change in future versions of PowerPoint. For right now, you're kind of limited to using the Quick Access Toolbar. And basically what that does is give you quick access to features that you like. Um, or ones that you might commonly use. The way you would customize that, like as you can see right now, we only have the save, uh, redo, or undo and redo. If you want to customize, you just click on the drop down menu here. And you can see you've got some kind of common tasks, so new. I'm going to go ahead and add new on here. And you'll notice that it added it here in the back. And then in a few minutes, I'll show you how to uh, move that over. And then we'll go ahead and add. Um, spelling on there as well. So now you've got the spelling. If I want to take those off, I just go ahead and click that and I can deselect spelling and you'll see that spelling's off. So now if I want to add more functions, let's say I'm working in animations and I'm always using custom animations. So let's go see if there's a quick access toolbar for that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this more commands button and as you can see it lets me customize it. Now here are the choices I have and then here are the ones that I have you can see I've got those loaded in there. If I want to uh, change the order of them, like say I want to move new to top, I can go ahead and just use the arrow and that'll move it up there. The other thing is I can create groups by adding a separator. So let's go ahead and add a separator after redo. So we're going to add the separator and we're going to move that down here. So there's the separator and then in there we're going to add custom animation and, and lo and behold there's the custom animation tab. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Let's add another separator and let's um, see what else we have. Now these are your popular commands but you do have access to every command so you just go ahead and click the drop down menu then you can see there's all sorts of options here's the um, all commands so we click on that and I'll just scroll through that you can see there's quite a few hundred uh, choices for you some of them are things you might not even know PowerPoint's able to do but let's say uh, you find something we'll choose this um, the zoom feature. Uh, let's go ahead and add that. Uh, and then let's go ahead and add, um, let's see, let's just grab something again. Let's um, do the thesaurus and we'll add that as well. So what we've done is we've created a separator, the custom animations, another separator, and then zoom and thesaurus. Go ahead and hit OK. And uh, now you can see I've got those up there. I've got my custom animations. So it's real easy for me to get to. And I like that because I don't like having to click on animations and then custom animations. So here's a quick way for me to get to that. I can zoom in too and you can see uh, the functionality uh, that with the drop down menu gives me more features to choose from or uh, more options. And then if I wanted to get rid of these, there's a few ways I can do it. One is I can go ahead, go into the more commands, um, select what I want to get rid of, just hit remove. If I want to go all the way back to whatever the default settings were, I just go ahead and hit reset and you'll see it's going to tell you that it's going to take you to the default. We'll go ahead and hit yes. Now we're back at the defaults and I can add uh, more to that. Another feature with the um, quick access toolbar is I can change the position. So right now it's up here on top. If I wanted to put it underneath the ribbon, I just go ahead and click the drop down and then I can have it um, show below the ribbon and then it's there and if I let's go ahead and minimize the ribbon so you can see what it looks like if the ribbons not there now personally I like to have as much screen real estate as possible so what I'm gonna do is keep it up here since I already have this space and without the quick access toolbar it's kind of wasted so I like to put it up on the uh, above the ribbon just because I'm using that space and it gives me a little more uh, space to work with the slides that's basically it.